Okay. Yep. Can you just check on Facebook to make sure? Mm -hmm. I think we're live. Are we? Yep. Yay! Okay, guys, this is totally, <laughs> totally impromptu because I'm sitting here with one of my business besties. This is Lindsay from the Nourish Life. She is all Nourish Company. Nourish Company. Sorry, my group is called the Nourish Life, but the Nourish so, yeah. Life, the Nourish Company. Um, she's also a nutritionist, a health coach in the realm of helping busy moms lose weight. And her what and else I are moms? Can we just be honest? What else are moms besides busy? Let's just be real. <laughs> Especially right now, right? So we were sitting, uh, having a little powwow chat and I was just like, listen, we need to take this live in my group. Do you mind? And she's like, no, I got half an hour. Let's do it. <laughs> so that's what we're doing. And we were talking about really this time of year and how she's been hearing the same thing in her group as I have in our over 40 meta boosting group about women just feeling pulled in a million directions about mm -hmm. not, not having really time or energy to focus on themselves. They want to do something, but they don't know what someone just tell them, please, what to do, put all the pieces together, mm -hmm. but now it's not really the time. Right. But then we're also hearing I've been stuck for over two years. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know where to turn. I have this goal of running this triathlon, but I want to lose 20 pounds first. I haven't felt the same after kids and I've mm -hmm. tried uh, Weight Watchers and, and keto and beach body and doing all these things. And I work out all the time. My, my, my peeps do anyways, and not seeing any change because for my people over 40 is different. And we talk about that a lot, mm -hmm. a lot in our community, but then uh, Lindsay and I were chatting about sort of this, this story that we tell ourselves, and we're gonna share our stories here in a second, about, mm -hmm. um, because we both are metabolism, fat loss, weight loss, success stories in our own right. Um, we're gonna talk about just sort of the shifting that we had to do, especially around this time. And that both oh. you and I started in November, when mm -hmm. we were like, something's gotta shift here, something's gotta change. Over 25 years experience, a former professional athlete, and I was like, over 40 for me was different. Something's gotta mm -hmm. shift. So share with your, share your, your background, Lindsay, a little bit before we get into So, it. well, so yeah, so basically, basic, yeah. basically, <laughs> basically my story is, so growing up, I mean, I was over, I mean, I'll, I'll try to make this as short and sweet as possible. I was overweight my entire life. And I literally, my dad's side of the family was really heavy. So I literally thought it was, that was just my genetic destiny. I was going to, I was always going to be overweight. And so, especially in my twenties with university and everything, um, I, I, the weight just kept on creeping on and I couldn't get it off. And I think that that was the thing is I was, I was chronically just diet, extreme dieting, diet after diet. I think I did up to like, you know, I would do like five diets a year and I was yep. constantly falling off them. And so it was finally when I understood how to support my hormones, how to fire up my metabolism and do it in a way that honored the life that I wanted to have, you know, drinking beer, having burgers, hanging out with my kid. Well, that's back then I didn't have kids. Yep. But, you know, doing it in a way that really sort of honored the lifestyle that I wanted to have, that it was finally when I kicked that sort of extreme diet mentality to the curb and really took control of my health. And so I think, you know, obviously, um, Moni, to your point, then shit got real when I had kids. Sorry, I don't know if I can swear. You can but totally like, swear. Then things, <laughs> you know, then, then shit really got real when I had kids, because I think that that was the thing is the, the old, the old things that I used to do to lose weight just weren't working anymore. And so I needed to have, you know, something really sustainable, something flexible for me. And so I created my system, but I mean, I can tell you that, you know, what Moni preaches in her community, I mean, we're very aligned in everything that we do, you know, it, it, it's allowed me to lose, I've lost over 160 pounds in my lifetime, I lost it, I lost 80 pounds in my early 30s, you know, and that's when my biggest transformation came. And since then, I've had two kids. And so I've had to do it again. And so and that's the thing is, I think the biggest the biggest thing is sort of shift. I think the biggest transformation that I made outside of the physical, because I mean, like, obviously, yes, fitting into your jeans and feeling sexy and all of that is phenomenal. Yep. But I think the biggest transformation that I made was removing all of those old patterns and behaviors that and I know money, we're going to talk about this a little bit later, but you know, removing all those old patterns and behaviors that weren't serving me anymore, especially around the holidays. 
and mm -hmm. replacing them with new ones that were sustainable that allowed me to not only get my results, but maintain them. Because I mean, let's be honest, I think all of us can agree. It's one thing to lose the weight. That's all fine and dandy. That's not what we want. Ultimately, no. what women want is to be able to maintain those results, in yeah. my opinion. 100%. And my journey was a, is very similar in the sense that I wasn't necessarily a chronic dieter, but I, I had this sort of athletic mindset that everything that I put into my eating strategy, into my workouts would equate into performance. And then in our forties, you go through a natural hormonal shift. Doesn't matter if you're Elle McPherson Ooh. or a triathlete or any, everyone goes through the shift. So when that started to happen, I would just want to do more. Like, I was just like, I got to work out harder. I got to eat cleaner. I got to, you know, just do more, 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 really grind it out, really try to put my style of eating and working out into this box where anything mm -hmm. external can get into it, AKA life. Um, male, very, but also too, very male dominated. You know what I mean? Like diet culture is so totally. male, like that male dominated thinking of like push work through harder. harder, work harder, totally. eat less, no days off. Totally. And so when I had to go again, mine wasn't as a, a dramatic weight loss, but mine was 12 inches in 12 weeks, like literally. Mm -hmm. And I show that picture. If you guys have been to my master, uh, my uh, trainings and classes, I show that picture and it looks like I just have like four inches all around me. Right. I just have like, I'm in this sort of like, you know, the fat man suits, right? <laughs> like it was still me, but I just, you know, I just felt like I had an inch or two layers on me and it just, I just didn't feel like my old athletic self that I wanted. So let's get into that shift, right. On how we had shift. to say, how we had to say, listen, let's recognize the structures that we were using before are not working. Mm -hmm. And this is coming from two professionals, right? That mm -hmm. have a background in health and wellness and education and certifications out the wazoo. How did you get from that mindset of like, listen, Lindsay 1.0 is going to be different from Lindsay 2.0. And how do you take that, what you went through and apply it to clients, right? Because it is, it is teaching clients too. like, listen, the old structures didn't work for a reason. Mm -hmm. So let's look at the new ones. Well, I think that that's the thing. I think it's so funny because I think a lot of times, you know, we, there's so many things that I want to say. I think yeah. a lot of times, you know, we tend to focus on food, but I think realistically, the very first step would pro like, at, at least for me, I would say my, 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 my rock bottom, if you could call it. And I love them. I love rock bottom so much. Like if you feel like you're at, like, you know what I mean? You've hit the lowest point in your life, girl. I'm going to tell you, this is probably the most beautiful thing that could happen to you. Because when I hit my rock bottom, that's when I started to really understand how I was thinking about food, how I was thinking about my body, how I was thinking about weight loss. Yep. And especially around the holidays, probably that's what likely why I had the wake up call in November, because I could really mm -hmm. start to see all of those old patterns and behaviors. Because if your family is anything like mine, Moni, like the holidays were just this like gluttonous affair where everybody mm -hmm. just drinks and eats their face off December, like December one to December 31 was basically just a write off. And then every single year I saw myself rolling back into the same pattern of just like saying, effort essentially for the entire month oh, yep. and then January I'd be all little miss new year's resolution like coming on and being like I'm gonna lose mm -hmm. this weight and I'm gonna whatever but then I started to realize that the idea was not to throw everything out the window in December and then get back on track in January like what I really if I took a look at what I wanted for my life I wanted to be able to understand how I could enjoy myself mm -hmm. and not put on 10 pounds in one month doing it. And then also break that old pattern. Cause I think the thing that I also really noticed was the pattern in January, like my weight loss wasn't based in a desire of wanting to feel better. It was more based in a desire of like guilt and shame about everything that I had yep. done in December. Whereas when I really started, you know, when I started in November and I really started to take a look at, you know, how I wanted to feel and how I really wanted this holiday to, you know, to sort of unfold, it was based in love. It was, these are the things that I really value. This is how I want my body to feel. This is how I want to wake up on January 1st and feel. And so I think it was really recognizing that, you know, 
that just the, the extreme diet cycle of the binge and then deprive was really ultimately what was keeping me stuck. But I think mostly it was because I didn't know that there was another way to do it because diet exactly. culture, and I know we talk about this all the time, yeah. diet culture leads us to believe that, that there's totally. no real way to lose weight and maintain your results. It's literally like, well, if you want to lose weight, you have to be on a diet for the rest of your life. And that's just not the case. And I think that's why so many women, at least that's what led me to feeling stuck for so long, because I saw December as, oh, I can't have this. I can't have this. I can't have this instead of thinking, well, I can have this, but how do I, and I can have this and maintain my results. But what does that look like? Cause there's gotta be a way I see women drinking eggnog and rum and you know, having all the pumpkin, pumpkin pie in the world and maintaining the results. So what are they doing? And what am I not doing? You know what I mean? Totally. I totally get it. And I think it's a lot, it's that gray area. It's extremes, right? And in that gray area, it is, it is that in between of just enjoying life and having food permission and having food freedom and what that looks like. And guys, you don't learn this overnight. This is something, this is something you learn with a little bit of time and a little bit of structure around it. Right. Um, but it's also that, you know, I feel so pulled in a million directions. I, I can't put this time onto myself. Cause let's be real. Who runs the holidays, even though I know the holidays are going to look different from everybody. Right now. Who buys all the presents? Who does the decorating? Who does, you know, cards, if you choose to do cards, you know, I guess they're not doing bake sales, but you know what I mean? Like <laughs> gifts and whatever we run the show. So you do feel pulled in a million directions. So you think it's all or nothing. And that was me. I was just like, well, Mm -hmm. if I can't give this knowing a hundred percent of my energy and time and effort, then I'm just going to wait. And I think that was- Also, Moni, can I add in something too? Sorry, not to cut you off, but it just, I mean, I know we do this all the time, but I feel like the other important thing that I didn't realize was, is how much of those, how much of like that sort of indulgence of the holidays was contributing to- my brain fog, my exhaustion, my inability to, you know what I mean? Like to handle all of those things. And like, yep. I think that that's the thing is like, we think that it's going to be this like overwhelming thing, but we don't realize how much power and energy and mental clarity we get back in return, which then allows us to show up even more. Like, do you know what I mean? Yep. yep. And that's where a lot of the blanket solutions fail us, unfortunately, is that they jump over into that heavy restriction and like, you have to eat this, don't eat this, do this hit workout, um, journal every day, meditate if you have time and you're changing all these behaviors like that rather Mm -hmm. than, and we talked about this just before this, uh, we jumped on live here, really focusing on what do we really need to do during the holidays? And it's one thing when it comes to metabolism, hormones, we need to prime ourselves. Yeah. Your bodies will not change. Your cells will not adapt if we don't create a foundation and prime first. Does that mean Mm -hmm. restriction? Does that mean never having a carrot again (laughs) or doing all these? No, it's just simple little shifts that you have to make based on what your lifestyle is like to get your body primed, right? Mm -hmm. You talk about that a lot in your group too, right? Oh my God. All we do is talk about priming because I think especially with women, so many of women at least come in my program who have been under eating for months, trying to lose mm-hmm. the weight over exercise. You know what, again, like we talked about that masculine, that sort of male mentality of restrict, 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 workout, workout, workout. And mm-hmm. so their metabolisms are shot. Like their hormones are depleted. Yes. And it's just like, you really need to take the time to be, that's, that's the number one thing that we're working on right now in my group is really helping to empower women with the knowledge of saying like, here's how you can come through December, enjoying all of your favorite things, doing all the things that you love to do and priming yourself so that come Jan one, your weight loss is like fireworks. You know what I mean? And, and then you have this like effortless weight loss experience in 2020. Yeah. Doesn't that seem just more adaptable that feels so good it feels so good well and I think the other thing too and I know that I didn't talk about this and I'm sorry for going like off on another tangent but like I I think the thing for me the other wake-up call that I had especially as a mom was and now I see it all the time like was 
the patterns and behaviors, and I mean, you know, if anybody's about, like hands up, if you can identify with this, like the patterns and behaviors that my family had growing up, especially around the holidays, where it was like, you know, the excessive drinking, the excessive, which is where I got it from. Like, you know what I mean? I got it from, yeah. I got it from watching all of that. And that was the biggest thing for me was what do I want to raise? What kind of a, like, do I want to be passing this down to my kids? Like, do I want my kids mm -hmm. to, you know, come into December and think of it as this like smorgasbord of, you know, food and what an excess or whatever. I'm like, no, that's not what the holiday, I don't, that's not what the holidays no. are about for me and my family. And I think it was important for me to sort of essentially change that trajectory, change the, the future of the family that I was creating by really establishing what I wanted for myself and what I wanted to change in the past. Yeah, we talk about that all the time in our community too, because, and I just was interviewed in a podcast and we dove into this a bit there, and I hate the word balance, but I'm gonna use it here because it, it, it applies. But especially with kids or and, and whatever age, because you got two, two real littles, right? <laughs> Minor nine and seven. I know a lot of people in my community have, have teenagers, even in college, et cetera, uh, young adults, but they notice and they everything, everything in knowing that this isn't another thing that mom's doing and mom can still have mine's pizza and wine, right? Pizza and wine and mine's ice cream. Out, yeah. And hang out with us, have ice cream while we watch a movie and there's no guilt around it there's no no around it it's just being present in the experience and then learning how to move on because we've learned we call, we talk about business as usual all the time in my community what mm -hmm. business as usual means you've primed your hormones you're not just muscling into the typical let's burn off the calories let's work out harder tomorrow let's have three smoothies in the day to balance it out that tip biggest mistake that mm -hmm. women over 40 make because totally. it's that feast famine throws your hormonal level out of whack. So one of the biggest reasons why, um, if you guys are on my email list and in this community, you've seen a couple of posts go out lately, but one of the biggest reasons why I shifted the 3M system, which is our flagship one-to-one -one personal coaching program to a more self-guided on-demand program, much lower cost, but it gives you that priming, that structure. Let's just totally. get through the holidays, right? Let's get through the holidays, literally step by step, what to do. Very simple because I get it. I'm not here, here preaching from the choir saying, do all these things. I said, <laughs> I sent an email out today and I was like, it does not have a 25 page manual that you have to read. <laughs> You'll probably fall asleep at, at night, right? Cause who's bought a program that all of a sudden you get the program has got this manual that's like 25 pages long and you have to try to figure it out. This is not about this. This is literally step by step. It's very strategic on what to do, prime yourself over the holidays so that when you start in, J in January, it's not this like grind it out, what am I gonna do? Let's make 2021 better. Um, mm -hmm. So PM me if you want more information from that or Angela, our community specialist, and uh, we'll get you guys uh, the link to check it out for sure. But that's one of the biggest reasons. Hey, Lindsay and I, and I love that too, because I think like to your point, to your point, Moni, like it is so essential to use the time that you have now, especially to, you know, check in with yourself and to be mm -hmm. connected to, to have a plan, to have a program, because then that's the other thing too, is like you spend December priming and then January, you can hit the ground running. And in the meantime, like that's the other thing is because, you know, tapping into something, tapping into, you know, a resource like that is going to be phenomenal because as we all know, like, you know, the same, the same thoughts lead to the same choices. The same choices lead to the same behaviors. Mm -hmm. The same behaviors create the same actions. The same actions lead to the same emotions. Like, and the same emotions same. lead to the same thoughts. And so it's just this constant cycle, you know, that you can't break yourself out of. So by exposing yourself, I always say to, to, to everybody in my community, you know, information leads to transformation. By exposing yep. yourself to that type of information, especially right now, like truly is really going to set you up. There's no, there's really no what better way to set yourself up, which is why I think both of us saw such phenomenal results because we were the, like, I always say that, like, you know, I, I could talk about this. We can talk about weight loss until I'm blue in the face, but like what really lights me up is working with women that want to take action. And especially it's right insane. now, because it's we talk like, about that a lot. Like, when you dive in, yeah. like, especially right now, like you are basically holding up the flag to say like, 
fuck this. I'm not doing this again. I'm not going to do this this year. This is going to be different. And I'm going to break this cycle, not only yeah. for you, but like for your family, which we talked about yeah. for sure. And and it's almost like morning. I put myself in third person. That's okay. Moni, put the pieces together for me. Put the pieces yeah. together. Because listen, by the time you're in your forties, you know what clean eating means. You know how important exercise and movement means. You've been to a few of my, my trainings where I sit there and we talk about shifting narrative and mindset when it comes to those two things and how important it is to, you know, shift your beliefs. Like you just said, not just change behaviors, realign with really what you want and the vision that you have for yourself. But I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> oh, but anyways, but that, that's just the way we do what we do, right? Mm -hmm. Like that's why we, we really want to, it's, we could talk about this and teach about it all day but it is action takers. It is about yeah. people that take action and want those pieces put together. So, but totally. anyways, my friend, I am so happy and thankful that you were like, okay, let's just put this live. Let's, let's just it. dive in. Let's just dive in. Cause I was like, this is juicy. I need to share this with my, with my over 40 peeps in my community. But again, guys, if you want any more information on the on demand, just send Angela and I a PM. If not have an amazing, amazing rest of the day. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 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 Bye.